Hello everyone. Let's provide the real solution to this problem. We have x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 equal to 4. Now bring 4 to the left. So we have x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 minus 4 equal to 0. The next thing we are going to do is to break x squared into 2 so that we can factorize. Okay, and doing that we are going to have x to the power of 3 minus 2x to the power of 2 plus x to the power of 2 minus 4 equal to 0 because 2x squared minus 2x squared plus x squared will give us minus 1x squared right so this is still the same thing and we can group into 2 like this and factorize so that when we are dealing with this x to the power of 2 will be the common factor then in here i will have um x to the power okay just x then minus in here i will have 2 because x squared has come out then plus here this is the same thing as x squared minus 2 squared right because 4 is 2 squared, this is equal to 0. And from here, I can apply difference of 2 squares. And in difference of, difference of 2 squares, if you have a squared minus b squared, this will be the same thing as a plus b into a minus b. So I'm going to do the same thing here right now. But then I'll write this again x squared into x minus 2 then plus for the difference of two squares we have x plus 2 and then x minus 2 this is equal to 0 now let's look for what is common so we can factorize x minus 2 is common so bring it out as the common factor then here we have x squared x squared is over here then plus this is here x plus 2 okay and this is now equal to 0 but then we can now apply zero product rule And the zero product rule says that either of these should be equal to zero. So let's begin with the first factor, which is x minus 2. We will equate this to zero. And this means that x is equal to zero plus 2. And our x is equal to 2, right? Now, this is a real solution. Remember, the problem says that we should provide only the real solution, right? But then, let's look at this, whether we are going to have real solution or complex solution. We have x squared plus x plus 2. Let's equate this to 0. And we are going to use the formula method to try to solve it. And um, according to the formula, our A is 1, B is 1 as well, and C is 2. The formula is X is equal to minus P plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. And then from here, we can now substitute the value for a, b, c so that our x will be in place of minus 1 we have minus b 
plus or minus we have b squared which will be 1 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 2 this is over 2 times 1 and then to continue from here our x will be equal to minus 1 plus or minus we have 1 because 1 squared is 1 then minus what minus 8 this will be over 2 to continue x will be minus 1 plus or minus square root of negative 7 over 2 and now look at this anytime you are having a square root that is negative it will give you a complex solution because this negative here will give you an imaginary number right okay it will lead you to complex solution so therefore this has to be rejected okay this has to be rejected and for that the only real solution that we have from the problem now is x to be equal to 2 and i would like us to put this into the equation and check to see whether we are right or wrong the original equation is x to the power of 3 minus x <coughs> to the power of 2 equal to 4 right now that x is 2 we are having 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 2 2 to the power of 3 is 8 then 2 to the power of 2 will give 4 right and 8 minus 4 is 4 and that is what we had on the right hand side so this is to confirm that x equal to 2 is the only real solution to this equation thank you for watching